So if you're new to using GarageBand on your iPhone, I've got a few beginner tips right after the intro. When you start a project in GarageBand, they only give you eight bars, which is annoying because who's making an eight bar song? There's two ways you can make your project length longer. The first is by pressing the plus sign in the right hand corner. You can tap add and manually put in as many as you want. Let's say, I normally say like 100 something bars because a full song is definitely well over eight bars. The second way to add more bars to your session in GarageBand is to go into your settings, scroll down to the app section, tap GarageBand, click on, where is it? Automatic recording link, turn it on. As you record, the session will stretch to the length that you need. Another helpful tip for using GarageBand on your iPhone is zooming in and zooming out. All you need is your two fingers and you literally just zoom in and you zoom out. The further you stretch your fingers, the closer you're gonna get into the screen and the closer your fingers are together, the further away you will zoom. If you have multiple tracks in your session and you just wanna hear one of them, you can solo it by holding it down. And when you let go, it'll stop playing. Just in case you wanna hear what is on a particular track, maybe you wanna delete it, it's your world. You can do whatever you wanna do. Next, if you wanna get more specific with your editing, you can tap a track and another menu pops up that you can you can cut, copy, delete, loop, split, edit, rename. If there's a section that you wanna move around or you wanna make different edits to, you can just tap and use the scissors to cut. You can repeat this same loop over and over and over again. Whatever you wanna do, that's how you get to that menu. Something else I find helpful is the metronome. This is helpful when you wanna just create your own track from scratch or maybe you're singing something a cappella. you need to know what rhythm to be singing to. You literally just tap this little weird triangle situation, press play or record, and you've got a metronome. Also, to set the BPM for your song, you wanna go up to this wrench, tap it, and then select the tempo. Whatever this tempo is, is the pattern that your metronome will play at. A special tip, when you're exporting your files, remember to turn off the metronome, otherwise you will export your song to iTunes or wherever you're exporting your song to and your metronome will still be playing, which is really annoying. So remember to just tap it again and make sure it's not blue and you're good to go. If you're recording vocals, something that might come in handy is knowing how to import your own tracks that maybe you bought from BeatStars or maybe you made in a different program. So in order to import your track, you're just gonna press this little loop situation and you can click music, which it'll literally import something that is in your Apple Music or your iTunes, whatever you need. Um, or you click files, which is what I like to use and whatever is in your files app. Mine is connected to my desktop, so anything that's on my computer can be imported into GarageBand on my phone. And then we've gone over this in another video, but Apple Loops is also, if you have no tracks and you just want to um, use some royalty-free loops, those are available as well. If you wanna see how I use those, the video will be linked in the description box below. Another tool that I find quite magical and fun <laughs> is being able to change the icons that represent what is on your track. GarageBand puts its own default images, so if you just tap it, another menu pops up and it says icons. You can change your icon. If it's vocals, you can put a little vocalist lady. You can switch to guitars, keyboards. It's just a cool way to keep your session organized because if you start adding in a ton of different tracks, you might forget what track is what. Lastly, when you've made your amazing song and you're ready to export it to iTunes, or maybe you wanna export the entire session and work on it on your computer. All you have to do is go back to the main My Songs page by clicking this upside down triangle and click My Songs. 
it takes you back to this main home screen. Tap the song that you wanna export. You just wanna tap it gently so that it doesn't actually open the session, but it reveals this other menu. And then tap share, and it gives you three options. You can export the song as an audio file, you can make your own ringtones, or you can export the GarageBand project so you can open it on your computer or somewhere else, or maybe send to somebody else to work on with you. So those are a few of my beginner tips for GarageBand iOS. There is so much more you can do with it, but I feel like that's a good starting point to just be able to navigate yourself around. If there's something else you would like to learn about GarageBand on your iPhone, be sure to like and subscribe, comment below, and let me know something I might have missed.